Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today, and today we're going to be talking about the New York Knicks trading for OG Ananobi. As the Knicks are trading for um, a, one of the best defenders in the NBA, OG Ananobi, someone who was the 2022-23 Steel Champion, also was a 2022-23 All NBA Defender, and it was a 2019 NBA Champion with the Toronto Raptors. Um, him, o, him, OG Ananobi, of course. Um, OG Ananobi, Precious Achua, Malachi Flynn are being sent to the, um, are being sent to the New York Knicks in return for Emmanuel Quickly and RJ Barron. Uh, I like this deal for both teams. I don't think either teams are losing this deal. RJ Barron has been a disappointment in his career, sadly, and Julius Randle will, and Jalen Brunson will get some help with OG Ananobi. Sure, he doesn't do the most offensively. Is a good. He definitely is a good scorer. Twenty in twenty seven games a season, averaging fifteen point one points per game. But he's not a twenty points per game type of scorer. He's going to help this team defensively, which I think will be great. Um, and especially with Tom Thibodeau, a guy who's a defensive minded head coach, uh, he wants Tom Thibodeau. Teams have always had have always been you know, aggressive defending teams. And I think OG Ananobi is a great player uh, to have, you know, will be a great player for Tom Thibodeau to have as a coach and for this Knicks team defensively as well. Um, averaged two steals last season in the 2022-23 season. Um, I just think the only bad part for the Knicks in this trade is giving up a guy like Emmanuel quickly can help so much scoring off the bench. And if some guys get injured, He's going to help starting and, and you know, provide so much off the bench with scoring. And uh, I think this is one that can definitely hurt the Knicks. But for the Knicks, he was a free agent. But the thing is, is, he's a restricted free agent. While on the other end, OG Ananobi is uh, only a – OG Ananobi is only a free – he's a free agent. You know, he's not restricted. He's, un, he's an unrestricted free agent. So – um, that will be interesting to see. He wants he he wanted forty million a year. I think that's absolutely f ridiculous. Um, great defender, great three point shooter, and all. A uh, good rebounder as well, and a good scorer. When he's shooting the basketball, when he's when he's playing his best basketball, he's a good scorer as well. But forty million, I believe, for him is ridiculous. Great defender, and definitely has some great value. Uh, everybody kind of you know everybody definitely appreciates his value but there are some people who say oh he's not worth that kind of money he's not worth 40 million i think in my opinion he's worth an area of 30 um at the least at the at the least 25 million a year uh or maybe 27 at the most if i was a team at the most i'd pay him a year is 35 to 36 million um and that 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 would that would if for a team to pay thirty five thirty six million a year for OG Ananobi would have to be I guess desperate. Um, but I mean, look, Draymond got what twenty five or thirty million a year uh, in free agency last year, and look how that's going for the Warriors. And I don't know if Draymond deserved all that money. Um, but twenty seven games to twenty seven starts for the Toronto Raptors this season. Thirty three minutes of play per game. 14, sorry, 15 points per game, four rebounds per game, three assists per game. From three, he is shooting 37.4%. Um, and he's only averaging actually one steal per game, um, which is the lowest since the 2018-19 season with the Raptors. So it's the lowest he's averaging steal-wise since the 2018-19 season. I like this addition for the Raptors. I, I mean, sorry, I like this addition for the Knicks, and I like their additions as well. RJ Barrett, who I I believe is Canadian, uh, will be back where he is from, uh, Canada. And Emmanuel quickly, I feel bad for this guy. I saw this tweet uh, that he made on December twenty fifth after the Knicks beat the Bucks on Christmas. Um, and he was so happy. He was like, I just won a game at the Garden for Christmas. And now uh, I just won a game at the Garden on Christmas. I'm, I'm so ha Life is so good right now. And then he makes a tweet this morning and says, oh, my goodness. So I, I feel bad for him. Let me know your thoughts on this trade. R.J. Barron and Emmanuel quickly to the Knicks. Or sorry, to the, sorry, to the Raptors and O.G. Ananobi to... Uh, the next. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace out.